everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a kind of collective summer haul. So these are some of the books, bookish things, and some like neat stuff that I purchased over the months of, I'm gonna say June, July, and August. So without further ado, let's get started. So starting out with the books, this is the one that I was most excited about, and it was Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. And this is the spin-off series to the Remnant Chronicles, which is one of my favorite YA series. And so I really love this book. And I when I found out she was doing a spin-off series in this same world, I was really excited. And you'll see this book in my August wrap-up and also my kind of reading vlog for this month if you want to go and check that out. But I really enjoyed it. And yeah, it just kind of takes place in a real like very interesting world. I mean some of the characters that um, more part of the first series are also kind of mentioned and kind of featured in here as well but I love the new cast of characters and how this expanded the world and kind of played off of how the last one ended so this one was really good so I was really excited and this cover is just stunning what's a funny thing is though is that the binding is actually upside down so usually when you read a book you're reading it like this way but if you do that it is actually upside down so there was a little printing error with this one which I thought was funny but every time I was reading it I feel like I was reading it upside down but that's a funny little thing with that book but nevertheless I still love it despite its kind of flaw there. So they've been re-releasing the Harry Potter books based on their anniversary so they're having these fun house editions and so um, when I was in Canada I ended up picking these two up because they're kind of based at a Bloomsbury, Bur Bloomsbury um, which is like a UK Canadian publishing company. Um, so I picked up the 20th anniversary edition of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets in the Gryffindor paperback one which I think is my favorite and then also the hardback as well which has this neat spine as well. Um, so I've been listening to the audiobook for this one when I've been driving to and from school and so I've been really liking it. It's kind of making me feel nostalgic and all that stuff because I want to read the illustrated edition for the third one September October so I've been kind of preparing for that but I love this and it kind of has some cool Tim bits in here about the house and there's a map and all of that fun stuff so yeah definitely if you're a Harry Potter fan you have to add this to your collection. So these next two are part of a series. So I read Poison Study back in July and I actually was pleasantly surprised by that. So I ended up picking the next two books in the trilogy, the second one being Magic Study and then Fire Study. And it's just unique kind of different YA fantasy and I like there's very few YA fantasies that I find myself really enjoying. So I was very surprised by this. The only thing is that um, I got like I, I couldn't find the to keep them all in the same um, kind of cover so this one is kind of a newer one which I don't really like as much but that's okay um, they were really cheap on Amazon so I couldn't complain so yeah I really like the series I talked about it more in my July wrap-up and if you want to go see that out but it's a really quick read but I was really invested in it. it's unique the main character here of Yelena is very strong and unique and she, it's really interesting so I'm interested to see where this series takes off because I kind of want to read this in September. I'm um, just kind of marathon through the end so yeah. So moving on to some Funko Pops. I purchased three over the summer and this first one was one that I loved a lot and it is a um, Hermione Funko Pop from the Chamber of Secrets when she, they're pulling out the mandrake so it even has the little mandrake on here and the earmuffs which I love. I have a, all the Hermione's now which I really like so I like adding this to my collection which I thought was really cute. I also got a an Elastic Girl one from The Incredibles. Me and my sister ended up seeing Incredibles 2 um, and it was a lot of fun so I saw that they released kind of a new one so I had to get one for my favorite character from that movie um, and I can't wait till it comes out on Blu-ray because I'm going to be watching it again. Um, so yeah I have this one here on my shelf as well which I'm really love. And lastly, this is like another movie one and it is Claire from Jurassic World, which I thought was just really cute and I saw it. There's like no way, good way of me showing this, but yeah, I just thought it was cute. I really love that movie. Um, a lot of, there was kind of mixed reviews, but in general I really liked it and so I'm interested to see how they're going to conclude it with the last movie. So I think that one was, a, it was a lot of fun. I saw that one with my sister as well and my brother's too scared to go see those ones, but I had to get one of these as well because I thought it was really cute. 
this is another kind of miscellaneous item and it is a Erin Condren monthly planner. I'm kind of flipping it this way because this way has my name on it but um, I usually do weekly stuff in my bullet journal and the one I currently have my academic planner goes until December so that's what I've been using for my weekly one and so kind of come 2019 which is what this one is it just shows months so let me kind of quickly show it. Um, it just has months and then it has a couple of kind of pages that you can take notes on and this is what I usually use for my YouTube videos. I usually would just print them out but I wanted something in here like this so I could actually bring it around and kind of plan and I really liked this floral design as well so this is my first one having like this spiral one um, but we'll see. I'm interested. I'm excited for 2018 to actually kind of be able to use it so I'm really looking forward to that. And lastly, I have a few kind of concert miscellaneous things. Um, so this first one here is a concert t-shirt um, from Kelsey Ballinary from her Unapologetically tour and she had a sale on her website um, July 4th kind of week and so I got this for a really cheap price and if you're one of the first orders you also got an autographed um, like poster. So I'll just kind of insert a picture of it here which is neat. So this is the fourth thing of hers that I've had signed which is really neat one of them was in person so that's really neat um, but yeah this is what I just kind of wear around the house which is fun so I got it a big like a size bigger so it's like my bedtime one and then we also ended up going to the Taylor Swift concert and in Toronto is the one with Brian Adams when he came on so that was a lot of fun and so um, I also got a t-shirt here as well with the tour dates on the back and that was probably one of my favorite concerts I loved it um, so I have that I got like a little reputation keychain um, another like patch that I just keep this on my um, bookshelf for it just says Toronto Ontario which was a lot of fun and then I also got the tour book as well of course um, so this was the third time I've seen Taylor Swift and it was a lot of fun we were really really close and she came really close so um, you'll see more of that in my monthly vlogs on my other channel um, so yeah I had to get this as well and it was also if you wait after the concert they give you like a discount code um, 20% off so I saved quite a bit on this which I was very pleased about oh and I also forgot to show you that I also got a tour poster uh, for the Taylor Swift concert which I'll kind of show you a clip of it here um, which I totally forgot about because I hung it up on my wall even though I was looking right at it when I was filming but um, I also got that as well to kind of commemorate that day so I also ended up on the Taylor Swift website getting this um, Meredith and Olivia little pouch which I use for work which I talked about in my what's in my work bag and it's really nice it's quite big actually and some of the prints on here are a lot of fun so that was just another thing that I included in that order and then lastly at the end of June we went to the Alan AJ concert with uh, me and my brother and sister and so I also got the promises tour t-shirt on the back as well which was really neat I grew up listening to them and it was really neat we were really really close and it was at the house of blues so it was a lot of fun it was really hot though that day um, but it was a lot of fun so I, I wish I had picked up a Sugarland concert t-shirt um, but they didn't have any online so I'm hoping kind of when the tour ends they'll kind of put on there um, from when I saw them um, but yeah that's definitely one I'll be picking up if I can find it in the future um, but yeah that's basically everything that I purchased over these summer months and um, yeah there's a couple of exciting books coming out for this later half of the year that I'm really excited about so keep your eyes peeled for that um, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye guys